Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button, it helps a lot. And also keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are on Monday, November 15th. I wanted to check in on the positions that I'm holding in my small short-term swing trade account at the moment and sort of talk through my plan on each of them. Um, so if we hop over here to the positions, uh, here's where I am. Obviously, I'm down, struggling quite a bit on a few of these today, um, but I'll, I'll sort of talk through where I'm at and and talk about why. So GE 110 calls came in on uh, unusual whales today. And uh, so basically if we want to look at GE here, it's a bit of a mixed bag. So I don't super love it. A lot of recent bullish flow, but that's backed up by a ton of bearish flow also. Um, I mean, overall the premium on the bull side, almost 64%. Uh, and you know, we'll have to see how it goes. But uh, I did think that the motion was looking pretty solid and I came down and waited for it to bounce out of this range, which I was posting about. And when it did so, I averaged down because my first position I, I took over in here before it had this big sell off. But that's about when the whole market kind of decided to dump today. <laughs> um, so I don't necessarily think it was anything to do with GE. I think it was just following the market dumping at that moment. Um, but my the play that I'm looking for here now this uh, expires uh, just this uh, Friday, right? So these first four are all Friday expirations. Um, but what I'm looking for it to do is continue on this uptrend support on the daily here, and uh, sort of have a bit of a strong push through that 108.80 area. Uh, it's Bouncing up there pretty consistently on the resistance for now. So we'll have to see. But that's the plan at the moment for GE. For IGT, I took this one. I think last week there was some good flow that was coming in on unusual whales. Or at least I thought so. Um, and I'm still getting sort of pretty used to using them. But I, I'm really, really liking it so far. Um, and, you know, pretty solid bullish flow here. Uh, that was last Friday. There was, you know, you see the 12th, the 12th, the 12th. So some good um, size orders coming in, like 632K in 11, 19, $31 calls. And uh, I think that's what I grabbed, 11, 19, $31 calls. So taking a bit of a beating at the moment, but it started to recover a little bit um, as the day has gone on. But I'm what I'm looking for here is this, you see this support and resistance level uh, here, right around 29, 28. I can't see exactly where it falls because the price action is too close, maybe 29, 24. But in any case, it grabs a bunch of this previous support and resistance, right? That it sort of chopped around and consolidated its way through before pushing off. So it's kind of retracing back down to that. So that's what, what I'm considering my stop loss area. Uh, volume has also been kind of low, so I don't know if some <laughs> catalyst or some news is going to come through to help push that up and over, but we'll have to see um, you know, what IGT can bring. Now, NLOC I just picked up today, and there was a pretty, what looked to me to be a pretty solid move coming in from the dark pool. And um, so we see here it's kind of wavy gravy today, but it's been on a bit of an uptick since see this heavy volume that started to come in here. Um, so this one here coming in about 1.4 million in volume just in that one minute candle. candle. So we go over here to the flow. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find it exactly. Let me see. Unlock. Let's see if we can find where that came in. Um, not seeing it at the moment, but there was a dark pool trade that came in. I actually tweeted about it, so it would be there, um, and snapshotted it. So this, this is me just needing to figure out how to use, <laughs> uh, the scroll back in unusual whales, but here we had, uh, a little over 12 million premium, um, size of 500 K. Uh, and so looking at that. I sort of tried to follow it and see that was at, um, 
I guess 111. It's kind of cut off there. But 111, these started to come in at, yeah, C1311 there. So this volume coming in, like matching up pretty strongly, 537 size here, 500K. So it looks to me like it was, was buy volume. Um, there might be a better way to figure that out, but this is how I'm trying to piece it together at the moment. So, but if anyone's familiar and, and knows, like, feel free to drop a note. Um, but that's why I jumped into NLOC along with uh, coming in here to go ahead and take a look at, you know, these most active chains here, pretty solid movements on the uh, call option chain uh, chains. And then also looking back here, you know, we have previously some big buys in the dark pools that seem to jump the price up. So these buys were happening when the price was twenty four ninety eight, and the price then jumped up about a dollar um, subsequent to those buys coming in. So, I'm, you know, this volume being even much higher, I'm wondering if there's something that's going to come through that's going to help push that, that price even higher. So we'll have to see. But um, right now I'm situated with $25 calls there. So not too far out of the money at the moment. We'll see what happens. Now Rev, I grabbed these two here, um, and that was basically off of some flow that I saw coming in. Uh, I can bring it up here. So really bullish flow. You see here, that this is premium over 50K. These are all sizable orders. <laughs> at least I would consider them to be. Um, and a bunch of like really straight moves, like not a, not they aren't like a part of a multi-leg strategy or or anything like that. So it's just buying call options. Um, and a bunch of 1119 strikes here. Um, and you see uh, some of the larger purchases, like you have like 161, uh, $15 calls. So I got into $15 calls. Then I went back and noticed I saw 1217 was also picking up a decent amount of action. 1217, 1217. This 1217 is bearish, and this 1119 is bearish. But um, so it goes. I'm I'm moving the other direction. <laughs> but uh, you saw, you know, you have like these 1217 calls. So I picked up those as well, just because I wanted to kind of wade in a little bit deeper. Um, but thought I'd give something some sort of breath, um, as opposed to having so many that are expiring on this Friday. PFGC I had grabbed last week, maybe on Friday or something. Um, and PFGC is coming in like this at the moment. And again, this is still premium over 50k. Um, but a bunch of these coming from the floor. So this is a trade executed by floor trader. Um, and like really bullish as you see, like just predominantly bullish, bullish premium, 73% plus at the moment. So call premium 33K versus put premium of 4K. So, you know, we'll see if something wants to move there. Um, they have a bunch of 1217 expiries in here today as well. When I bought it, it was mostly 1119. And so you see, um, I, also grabbed the 121750s because um you know I was trying to give like I said some things some extra room to breathe so I'm kind of glad that I I purchased that but it's not doing uh that great at the moment sorry what are we looking at here pfgc <laughs> pfgc um so sort of struggling through this range that I had spotted and my hope here was that it could establish along this support level it's like 46.34 or so um, and also at least continue following this uptrend support uh, but i'm looking for hopefully a big move out of this range it's been in this range since about september so all of september october and now we're in the middle of november so about two and a half months it's been in this range so it could have built a pretty solid base and it could be ready for a nice move. But, uh, you know, we'll have to see. I don't know if there's some catalyst or something else that's going to come up to help push it over. Um, I can't remember if I skipped IGT or if we did it. But in any case, uh, BKR was another one that I picked up last week. There was some call volume that came in there. But also I noticed on the chart here on the daily, because this is pretty longer day. This is January expiry. Um, but we have all of this recent bottoming out, right? We have, let me just get a box here. We have all of this like 
triple bottom is what I was looking at, like the wick of this candle plus all of these ones now. And so I'm looking for it to bounce here from this purple zone. And that's what I was basically relying on. If it fell through this area where it had consistently gotten bought up the last several times that it hit there, you know, I would take that as a good opportunity to stop loss. Um, and since it was right there, it felt pretty solid on the risk to reward because if it's going to fall, it's, you know, of course you could wake up and its stock is down 30% <laughs> in a day. But I mean, um, barring something as crazy as that, if it was just sort of like a natural slide from the bottom here, then it seemed like it was pretty close in and, and was pretty much worth the uh, taking the chance. IGT, just because I can't remember if we had taken a look at it. Um, oh yeah, we had done this one. Yep, yep. So uh, so that was that. Uh, BKR, if you want to see what was coming through on the flow, I actually didn't see what's been happening with it today. Uh, pretty mixed bag at the moment, it looks like. Um, wow. Put bear premium way outpacing um, the <laughs> the uh, bull premium at the moment. So we'll see what happens. But like I said, it felt like it was worth, it was sort of a unique situation where it felt like it was worth the risk because it was at this triple bottom area. And if it can't move off of it strongly, and certainly if it falls through, then like I said, I'll just take that as uh, a stop loss indicator and sort of see how it goes from there. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a more challenging day today than than Friday was was much better uh, with things pushing through green. But so we sit right now and uh, we'll have to see how things go. I'm trying to do a better job as time goes on of keeping these uh, losers in check, not letting the losers run away and clipping the winners too quickly. It's uh, it's commonly my challenge, but we'll see. I did close a few out today. Um, took some profits, cut, cut some losses, and I had mentioned those in here as well as, as I was working through. Um, so you'll see those. Lyft, I stopped out, uh, and Uber I did also um, at that point. So the ride shares weren't my friends this morning, but Uber did well for me on Friday, so I'll take it. All right, folks. Well, that's where I am at the moment. I hope your trading day is going well. And I uh, just wanted to check in here and sort of walk through some of these things and talk about my plan for exiting and sort of what brought me into those trades. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.